what's up fellow bookworms? I'm so excited today to tell you about an app that has truly changed the way that I read. And that app is called Libby. Libby is an app that grants you access to your local library systems catalog of ebooks. And no matter how big or small your local library system may be, there's a good chance that it has thousands, if not tens of thousands, of ebooks that you can access for absolutely free. Now, I realize that sounds like the beginning of a sponsored video or a commercial. Uh, this is not either of those things. <laughs> uh, this is just me telling you about a really, really cool app that I think will help you hopefully as much as it's helped me. Now the coolest part about Libby is that you can actually link your Libby account to your Amazon account and read those eBooks on your Kindle. Now, even if you don't have a Kindle, don't worry because you can still access that catalog of books on your phone or iPad or whatever device you used to download the Libby app. Well, the process is super, super simple. Today, I just wanna show you quickly how to get started on the Libby app. So we'll look firstly at how to download the app from the App Store. Then I'll show you how to get started on the app itself. And then I'll quickly look at how you can link your Amazon account or your Kindle account to the Libby app so that you can access these books on your Kindle with just the push of a button. So since most of the process is going to take place on a phone, I'm probably going to hang out in a bubble somewhere in one of these corners uh, and show you what's going on on my screen. All right, so I'm here on the App Store on my iPhone and I'm just gonna search for the Libby app. Now, at one time I think this app was just called Overdrive, now it's Libby by Overdrive. So on the App Store this is how it should come up. On a different App Store like the Android Store or the Google Play Store, um, I think you can download apps on the Google Play Store. I'm not entirely sure, but no matter where you're searching for this app, it probably is going to come up as Libby by Overdrive, but it may just come up as Overdrive. But these are likely going to be the same app. So you're just gonna wanna press download um, and enter your credentials for whatever device you're using and download the app to your phone. Once that's done, we're gonna press open and it's gonna take us to this page. So it's gonna say, first question, do you have a library card? So, I mean, do, do, you? do you? have? I hope you have a library card. If you don't have a library card, it's really easy to sign up, especially nowadays. Chances are your local library system has a way for you to get a library card online and it will probably just take a few minutes. They probably will want you to then come in at a later time to finish things up, but you can probably gain access to a library card right now. So if you don't have one, go ahead and get one really quick. But if you do, just press yes. So once you tell Libby whether or not you have a library card, I pressed yes. So this is what the screen looks like once you press yes. So you can either search for your library system or you can just have it guess your library based on your location. And that's the easiest thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've selected your library system, either by searching for it, allowing Libby to guess it based on your location, or you can even look on the map, you're going to select it. So it's going to then ask you if you want to sign in with a library card or if you need a library card. I'm going to press sign in with my card. So then it's going to ask you for your library card number that should be on your library card. And then after that, it will ask you for a pin. Now, when you signed up for your library card, your library system may have asked you to set up a pin. They may have just assigned you a pin without telling you. My pin is the last four numbers of my phone number. I don't know if that's going to be your pin. Uh, it could be if our library systems run on similar logic, <laughs> I guess. But enter your pin if you know it. If you don't know it, you can always reach out to your local library system and I'm sure that they would let you know what it is. But either way, enter your card number, enter your pin, and then you're gonna have a screen that looks something like this. Now, I've obviously already got some holds, I've got some books, but I just wanna show you quickly now how to get set up on the Libby app. Now, the first and easiest thing to do is to search for a book that you're interested in. So you can just search for uh, The Lincoln Highway is a book that I'm, that's not Lincoln, The Lincoln Highway. And then it'll pop up. Now you can even access audiobooks. It's something that I didn't even mention. Um, but you can access audiobooks on the Libby app. And you can't unfortunately link it to like your Audible account, at least not that I know of. You have to listen to audiobooks on the app itself. But it's very seamless. It's just like listening to it on Audible. There's really no difference. But in this case, I'm interested in the book. So if I wanted to 
place a hold on this book because it's not available right now, I would just press place hold. And then it will tell me roughly how long of a wait time there is on this book. And you can see that at the bottom. It says about nine weeks wait. And usually in my experience, these wait times are longer. I mean, the estimate that they give you is longer than the real wait time. Not always, but most of the time, like it'll say four weeks and sometimes I get it in like a week, a week and a half, that kind of thing. Now, obviously, that's not a guarantee, but that's just my experience. So I've already actually got this book on my shelf, so I don't actually want to place a hold on it. But if I wanted to place a hold on this book, I would just press place hold. Now, if you don't really have a particular book in mind that you want to read, you just want to browse and see what's available. Just click this button from the second to left. It looks like a little library and you can see newly added books. You can see guides. So if you're interested in particular subjects, um, there's even magazines. You can just have a you know have a quick look around here and see what's popular, what you might be interested in. So now I want to show you how to access books from this app on your Kindle. And I don't want to wait several weeks for a book to become available. So I'm going to go back to that tab that looks like a library and I'm going to press the available now tag up at the top. And you can see there's 38,000 books or publications that are available right now. So I'm just going to pick a random one. Uh, the Four Winds by Chris and Hannah is available. Uh, Dune, the audiobook for Dune is available. That's pretty cool. But I'm just going to pick uh, The Four Winds because I thought that was a really great book. So if I can uh, recommend that book in a video, I'll recommend it. So I'm going to press borrow and then I'll press borrow again. And then oh, you'll also notice up at the top, it says you have borrowed The Four Winds for 14 days. I meant to mention it uh, and I forgot. But if you go back and I'll try to play the clip again <laughs> and show you, um, up at the top where it says 14 days, that's actually underlined. And if you press that, you can change the amount of time. And the maximum amount of time you can check out a book is 21 days or three weeks. So it defaults at, I guess, 14 days, but you can go all the way up to three weeks. So this book is on my shelf now. So I'm going to go back to my shelf and then I'm going to press the button that says read with. I'm pointing to it like you can see it. You can't actually see it's just the screen. It's just anyway read with <laughs> and then you can either read it on the Libby app which says Libby this app on the far right there or Kindle so I'm gonna press Kindle because I want to read it on my Kindle and then it's gonna have me log in to my Amazon account so I've gone ahead and logged in on my Amazon account and I'm gonna press get library book and doing that is just going to send it straight to my Kindle all right, so I'm on my Kindle now and I can't screen record on my Kindle, so I just have to kind of show you here. But as you can see, I'm on my library and there's the four wins, the first one, uh, top left. And you'll just have to download it to your device. You, you know how to do that on your Kindle. If you have a Kindle, you just tap the cover and it will download to your Kindle. And then there it is. And it'll stay there until your loan expires. And once that happens, it will automatically remove it from your library. Now, there is kind of a hack that people talk about. I definitely don't endorse this because I don't exactly know how it works on the back end for other people who might be waiting. But people say that if you put your Kindle into airplane mode before your loan expires, then you can keep the book on your Kindle until you reconnect to the internet. And then Libby tells your Kindle that it wants the book back. But if it's not connected to the internet, it can't tell your Kindle that. So I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how it works. Um, I've never tried it necessarily. I'm pure. I'm clean. I don't do illegal activities. But if you want to try it, um, you didn't hear that from me, but I did hear that it works. If this video helped you out at all, and I hope that it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you could. I would truly, truly appreciate it. My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer. We are at about 200 subscribers right now, so we've got a lot of work to do. So please, if you could hit the subscribe button, I would truly appreciate it. As always, thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.